Hey everybody, um, and uh, the Christmas party keeps ticking along. We, uh, we did our gnome, as you can see. Uh, I'm pretty proud of that guy, actually. Uh, it was uh, harder than I thought to do, and it gives me a whole new appreciation uh, for arts and crafts. But honestly, if you are a crafty person, uh, if you have that side too, if I can pull this off, you're going to be able to do so much better um and and it's your kids are gonna love it like it's what what a fun thing what a what a what a cute fun thing to put on your porch and and, and play around and you know there'd be nothing to stop you putting christmas lights in there put ornaments on the hat put an ornament for the nose anything you want like go wild with it you could have candy cane walking stick all kinds of good stuff um so the next project uh i thought we would show you guys um is decorating a wreath. As I mentioned at the end of uh, Building on Gnome, we get a lot of people um, who, who they, they come in and they want a wreath. And, and that, you know what? There's nothing wrong with these traditional wreaths. By the way, uh, special shout out to my special guests, uh, Mr. Dog and Miss Stewart. Uh, as you can see, they're very clearly saying, don't forget your crafting scissors, yo. <laughs> so I, uh, I got my crafting uh, scissors. Thank you for being on the show. Yeah, exactly. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. All right, now I'll walk right in front of them. <laughs> <laughs> but there's absolutely nothing wrong with hanging a plain wreath. Um, some people actually like that aesthetic, and that is great. But like anything, there's nothing wrong with putting uh, Snoop and Martha in a wreath either. In yeah. fact, I would say that's probably the best wreath I've ever seen. Yep. That's pretty much the show. Done. Done. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, honestly, if, that, if that's what you want to do, if that's, if that's what you thought would make your Christmas, how about it? Uh, 2020 has been a hard year. Don't let anybody tell you how to decorate. Brandy and I were just discussing um, about doing a tree and having a theme or not a theme, having a mishmash, or having a carefully curated idea. And you know what? Different opinions and no wrong answers. Um, Brandy's really boring. She like, believes that everything should be very curated uh, and very... <laughs> I'm getting it <laughs> Brandy <laughs> thinks it should... <laughs> Brandy thinks it should look like the Christmas elves threw up on your tree. Yes, that's the best kind. <laughs> so, but there's no wrong answers. And you know what? If you've got to get two wreaths, and have the kids decorate one or your significant other decorate one and you decorate one, do it. Do it. Do it. I, when I hear that people fight over Christmas ornaments and Christmas decorations, it's Christmas. Don't fight. Like, put up two trees if you've got the room. Do half a tree in one style, the other half in the other style. Who cares? It's fun. Uh, but to each their own. And with that being said, we're going to put some ornaments on a wreath. It is so incredibly easy. But here's the kicker. I have to ask how to do it. So when I say it's easy, when somebody tells me, I'm like, oh, I, I literally didn't know that it was that easy. Brandy and I just kind of did a, uh, you remember those shows uh, back in the day where they give you a grocery cart and you had to run through the store and load all the stuff in it? Brandy and I just kind of did that with ornaments. And you can see we've got everything from, you know, traditional pine setters, cones. I had to grab an English telephone booth. Because, Naturally. Yeah, I'm English. Yeah. Uh, traditional birds. Uh, just traditional baubles to non-traditional ones. You know, we've got a, a scary a sloth. Come on, I think that's my favorite one that I've seen this year. I'm totally buying that. Uh, a dog in a jaunty. Oh, would that be a raspberry beret? I think Prince sang a song about him. Um, to, I think this one was Brandy's favorite. He's so poofy. <laughs> so. Again, no wrong answers. You, you, we've got dinosaurs and dragons and dogs. We've got traditional. We've got birds. We've got phone boxes. It's whatever you want. And literally, if you look, so I'm going to flip one of these. Uh, and even, so we're using artificial uh, for this, um, simply because it's a lot easier. We don't have to worry about damaging a, uh, a real one. But even the real ones are much the same. So if you flip it over, You'll see on your wreath, basically it's got a wire cage. And that's kind of what you're going to aim for for a lot of things. Other ones, other ornaments, just like you would hang on a tree. You can hang them on there. So let's do my sloth because I like them. And another thing I had to look for as well, and I just, I'll, I'll quickly show on this. There's no top or bottom to a wreath. It's just one circle. It's not like um, when you hang a mirror in the bathroom or a picture frame and it's got the little nubby bit at the top. It's all 
all just one cage. So whichever way you think it looks best, that's how you're going to do it. So, you know, if you like the sloth, you can put them on and literally, oh, come on, buddy, get you on the right way there. You're going to put them on here like that. And this is just a wired branch. And then I'm just going to bend it up just a smidge. And he's going to hang down. And then I'm going to put these in. Now, actually, you know what? See, I'm learning. I'm learning. This is great. You guys are learning along with me. Like I said at the start when we did the, uh, when we did the, no, this isn't one. You are not going to see me be like, here's one I built earlier, which clearly wasn't built by me because it was done professionally. I probably got Martha or Snoop. I bet, I bet you Snoop could build an amazing reef. I would think so. So I'm going to put this guy in first. And the reason for that is because I want to flip it over and I'll show you why. So I'm going to feed my poinsettia pick in nice and tight so it's snug. Then I'm going to flip it and then you can see that this is actually bendy. So literally, I'm just going to bend it into the cage. And all you want to do is just like anything else, just make sure it's nice and snug, nice and tight. And that should work. There we go. So anything that you're gonna feed through like that, so even these berries. I know, let's put some berries on. I've never put berries on. I've never put anything on a wreath, so this is all new to me. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna lift it up, and I'm just gonna put the wires around. And again, this is something that you're gonna to wanna to play around with. Um, I recommend that you have fun with it, and I recommend that you get somebody to help you, not just videotape you. <laughs> <Sorry. Nice laugh. laughs> Zero intent to come help me. <laughs> okay, hold on. Get that in. Oh, see, I put my berries too deep. Now you can't see them because of the point set. So I'm oh, just going to play with them a bit. There we go. Perfect. Look at that. Then I go, oh, you know what? I really, 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 it's not Christmas without a sloth, clearly. And then he is just going to go, like I said, I'm going to put him on the branch, I'm going to bring it up, I'm just going to put a bend on it, like that, and it's literally that easy. And there you go, you, you have a, you have a, uh, is that going to hold if I put him there? And once it's hung, it's not that hard, you go, oh, you know what, I want him to change around a bit, feed it back, there you go. So even once it's up, you might want to tweak it a bit. And you can do that. That's, that's totally fine. If that's, your, if that's your aesthetic, I don't know why that wouldn't be anybody's aesthetic. That's like the that's best beautiful. wreath. It's the best wreath I've ever built. <laughs> so literally, you can do that. Or go buck wild. There's nothing, honestly, there's nothing to stop you. And if you want, if you don't have any picks to put through, you're not going to put anything like that because we've got all kinds of branches. I know some people will actually take real boughs and weave them through, or they'll weave them through a living wreath just to give it more uh, expansion. I've seen people use garland. Um, again, as creative as you want to be, uh, you can do it. Uh, curly willow. Um, people will put pine cones. Uh, a pretty popular uh, one that somebody showed me. Do I have, you know what, I'm just going to, actually this one's nice and floofed. I didn't floof any of these ones, I just threw them on the wall. Um, so if I put him there, like that, and another really, really, really popular style that people like to do is they'll take a couple of pine cones and they'll do a cluster. And again, I was told this by Carol, who is like, Carol is our Martha. She's our domestic goddess. She knows how to do all of this stuff. And, and she really, really loves it. And she's got a natural eye for it. So then, literally, that'll be it. Something like that. But again, don't, if you want to do more, do more. Like, you want to, you're like, oh, that looks great. And then you're like, but you know what? I want to put a phone box on it. Put a phone box on it. Um, you know what? I really like the sloth. I know, I know some people. The younger Colin didn't decorate for Christmas. He would have put that on his tree. 
Young Colin would have put that on his tree. So, for Young Colin, that's going up there. Again, no wrong answers. It's anything you want to do. It's fun. You might want, ooh, do we have that bird that has the clip? You know what? Snoop bird. <laughs> I don't know if that's a thing. There you go. You can be even as simple as that. And if you're going to hang a wreath outside, you can actually hang a uh, bird seed from it and actually bring real birds in. Um, get a small feeder or a uh, small suet cage or one of our Santa cookies that we've got that are designed for birds. Um, but honestly, look at that snowflake hanging down. Oh, is that going to hold? See, I might want to lift that up. I should have fluffed this better. So I think that's it. There you go. And, and that's what I want to show is, is the main thing about doing stuff and having fun with this. So a tradition we have every year uh, since um, Jenny and I have been together, we've had a tradition. Uh, and we come, uh, we come to Golden Acre just because we're here and there's so much fun stuff. And everybody picks, uh, Jenny, Harry and myself, we all pick a Christmas ornament completely independent of the other people. Doesn't matter, we're not looking at themes, we're not looking at, oh, you've got to get a wildlife theme or, or, or you've got to do birds or snowflakes. No, pick whichever one speaks to you. So I know this, yeah, spoiler alert, Jenny, Where's my sloth? Oh, he's here. <laughs> Spoiler alert, I'm literally getting a sloth. Uh, I, I, I can't say I would be surprised if Harry picked that or something like that. Um, and Jenny, I never know which direction she's going to go in. Jenny by far has the most style out of all of us. Um, out of the three of us, I should say. Um, and I never know which way she's going to go. Always a surprise. But it's fun, and then we decorate the way we want. Um, you know, we've got we've got some really fine pieces. We've got uh, ornaments that were bought for us as gifts. Uh, ornaments Harry made when he was just you know a little guy. Um, to ones that we bought independently, to ones that we bought as a family. So have fun. These these should be as independent uh, as your garden. Basically, when you when you roll up. And you look at this and you go, oh, got to remember my uh, crafting scissors because Snoop and Martha are telling me about it. I didn't even need crafting scissors for this project, but you never know. <laughs> there you go. You never know. <laughs> um, but you want to make it as independent as you like. And, and honestly, I could care less if, if I saw a wreath just covered in everything and anything. You know, it, you want to get some, uh, some of that uh, wire I had earlier and put a real pine cone in it, go for it. Mixed media, do whatever you want, whatever works. Wreaths on the door outside, wreaths inside. I know some people like bells on the wreaths on the door, so every time the door opens, you get a jingle bell sound. Oh, that's festive. Yep, my mom, my mom has uh, one of those, and yeah, she puts it on her front door. So, um, it's again, there's so many different styles. Don't be pigeonholed. Do what uh, do do what you want. You know, like it. To go back to this guy, hang ornaments on him. Put an ornament on. You know, I'm not going to take his nose off because I don't really have time. But I very easily could have put that on there for a nose, right? It's even got an easier place to wire it than a pine cone. And we could have wired that on for his nose. So honestly, have fun. Be creative. Uh, come up with your own ideas. Um, and, and send us pictures. Honestly, we'd love to see what you guys come up with. Um, but when it's something like this and it's, it's what you're bringing to the table and your creativity, we love seeing it. We love seeing something simple. We love that very clean look. To, we just love, like I said earlier about Brandy, like the explosion. Like, and Elf just like, bah! Christmas everywhere, different lights. And that's, I, I know a lot of people who love that aesthetic. Not my choice, not the way I would go. I don't care, I also have a 13 year old who jam it all on. I remember how he decorated the tree and every single ornament was on that amount of square foot. 
The only place he could reach, and he would let them out of the box, put them on the tree. Out the box. <laughs> so we waited until he went to bed, and then Jenny and I spread them out a little bit. Um, but hey, it made him happy to do it. He even had a tree in his room. We got him a little tree that he could set up in his uh, in his room. I think that was just a ploy to get gifts under both trees, but I digress. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he's a smart kid. Um, but that wraps us up. Um, the next uh, project I think we're going to show you guys is what to do with a Christmas tree. Uh, not decorating it, uh, not putting it up in your house, that's boring, you, most people have done that for however long they helped their parents, it's a tradition they know how to do that. But there's a fun project about putting a Christmas tree outside, um, so we're going to touch on that. We're also going to build a Christmas terrarium with plants from Tropicals and do a snow theme and have fun with some ornaments in that as well. So they'll be coming up, keep your eye out for it. Uh, we're not going to be doing anything regular. These are little Christmas specials that are just going to pop up. Enjoy them. Give us your feedback. Let's see what you've got. Uh, and we'll talk to you guys soon, okay? Bye, everyone.